The next news. Uh, so this is a quote by somebody in India. She is saying, the quote starts here, quote, I cannot find my father's body, unquote. D uh, Delhi's fearful Muslims mourn riot dead. So yeah, this is a whole a lot of riots happening in India. It's still continuing right now. It's still continue, like every nobody's talking about this anymore, right? Because of the coronavirus. But this is this keeps happening right now in India. So let me read the new summary. After the Indian capital's worst religious violence in years, displaced Muslims describe losing everything. Nur Jahan, oh Nur Jahan, forty-eight, who lived in Shiv Vihar. Said she, uh, said she did not feel she could go back to her home. She had uh, run away as the mobs descended, but not before hearing the taunts of the rioters that she said still haunted her. So this, this is a quote that um, by her, by Nur Jahan, she's saying, they shouted, come out, come out, we will fuck you and we, you will give birth to uh, Hindu gods Ram and Hanu Hanuman Hanuman that's a monkey one Hanuman right? that's a yeah. monkey one, yeah. Hanuman yeah. she recalled with a shudder some some eight still what still looking for relatives who went missing uh, Gulshan 27 wept freely as she waited for the DNA results to confirm that the body brought in was that of her father his father had been so badly burnt then only his right leg was found. Wow. I depended on my I depended on my father for everything she said. What will I do now? What the hell? Shoba, what the hell is happening in India? Like why is this not Well uh, for one thing the riots are, have ended. They and, have ended. Yeah, but like, they cut but they the... lasted for a few days. Yeah, but this But is... it was like it was like horrible. The same as like the persecution of Jews during Nazi Germany, kind of stuff like that, mm. and like it was it was horrible. Like I think there uh, there were a little over fifty deaths in total, and just about a dozen were a hin Hindus. About a dozen cas casualties were Hindus, and rest all of them were Muslims. Okay, so there there would be how many people... Muslims? How many Muslims died? Every uh, over forty easily, a dozen Hindus. Over four, 50 total casualties, so over 40 Muslims you just easily. Okay. Okay, so there, there would be in the comment section of the post, I mean, there are people who would be like, oh, there are hundreds of Hindus dying, your Muslim um, are killing them and stuff. I mean, uh, there aren't even a total, total of 100 people dead. Okay, so like uh, there have been hundreds of people injured, but not dead. Not dead. There have been like 50 deaths. So anyone claiming like hundreds of Hindus have died, they're completely false. And then they will be like, okay, this is completely false news. It's all uh, Muslims taking up arms against the Hindus, even the Delhi police have said like uh, the Muslims have attacked them and stuff. Okay, there will be people saying this, but for them, uh, you can just say then what about the stuff that uh, recently, I think it was yesterday or the day ago, uh, some Hindus in that local area, they took up posters and banners and uh, they went on the streets in front of the mosque the hindus attacked they uh, went up there and said hey we are hindus too but we haven't attacked so we are sorry for hmm. everything the other these extremist hindus have done we we don't hate you muslims and they've put up uh, posters and up all that and these hindus by the way have said like uh, the Delhi police were uh, coming to us and saying uh, disperse and stuff and even the Delhi police denied that uh, anything happened, mm. any attack happened on the mosque. But these Hindus from the locality, they are claiming, yeah, the attack happened and we are really sorry for that, that the, the other Hindus have attacked. So any Hindu apologist is claiming like this is false news and stuff, ask them oh, then they're why gonna are be, they... They're going to yeah. be a lot of them. They're going to be a lot, really. Yeah, so just to, like once you see the Hindus and the Hindu apologists um, in, the com in the comment section, they're like, ah, oh, fake news, fake news. Just so you understand, like, first of all, don't just be like, oh, this guy is from India, so I must trust them over somebody that is not from India, right? First of all, there's a lot of people from India that are saying this, this stuff is happening, okay? This is not fake news. But you should, it's not, that's not how you decide. But just so, if you can't really go and dig deep and figure out what's true, just realize that based on Occam's razor, if you want to apply Occam's razor, 
for you to believe the narratives of all these fake news people like oh no muslims are not being oppressed or discriminated against or attacked in india for you to believe the the hindu apologists in the comment section that come and say like oh you don't understand uh you're spreading lies for you to believe that you have to believe their narrative that all the media on the planet is lying about this like there is some global if, like all the countries, all the medias of all the countries, they have decided to get together and somehow make India look bad for I don't know what reason. Uh, yeah, they, they actually, they, these Hindus, they actually think like that. They think India is this top-notch country, like it's the global superpower yeah, sure. and everyone's <laughs> going against it. The US is right. conspiring against India to just remain the superpower. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> So the the whole me media of all the countries in the world decide to like sh make India look bad for some reason, and o the even their own foreign media and their own media, okay, and m many Hindus in India as well, right, who are actually showing up in these protests against their government, but th because this is anti secular, anti humanist, uh, violates people's human rights. Um, is taking India to a place where it's a Pakistanization of India. So they're all lying, okay? Everybody's lying. A lot of Hindus in India are lying. I Indian media is lying. Foreign media is lying. Everybody is just, is just global conspiracy because India is such a world power and is such a threat to the rest of the planet that they just have the whole planet is just trying to bring India down because they're just so jealous they just can't take it and everybody is just lying about this and that's what you have to believe in over the fact like no okay people are reporting that they're, they're, people are being attacked because they're because they're protesting they're being killed Hindu nationalism is, you know, this is the real right wing that people have to worry about. People are like, oh, alt right is bad, right, you know, um, far right is back in Europe and North America. The main far right that is taking over, like we, when we're talking about India, we're talking about a billion people. We're talking about one out of every seven or eight person in the, on the goddamn planet is from India. So when we're taking, when we're saying that, oh, Human rights are being viol violated in India. Muslims are being discriminated against. We're talking about this is this should be headline news everywhere. If if one thousandth of this, if a fraction of this was happening in Europe or in North America, these so-called leftist people would be losing their minds right now. Oh, like oh, the poor Muslims, the poor Muslims. But when it happens in the thousands, in the hundreds, thousands, and in the millions, in like China. They don't give a, they don't care. They don't care because they don't actually care about human rights. They, they just hate white, right, uh, far right people, right? This is more about being anti white far right people rather than being for human rights. Because if they were for human rights, they would be caring about the Muslims in India and in China as much as they care about the fringe small Muslims that are being discriminated against in North America and Western Europe. But they don't care. They don't care. But, and again, a lot of people that are new to Atheist Republic, they were like, oh, why is Atheist Republic defending Muslims? But that's because you're new here. We always defend Muslims. We always defend everybody. Hindus, Muslims, Atheists, Christians, Jews, when their human rights are being violated. We attack their religion and we don't hold back. We always tell, tell people that we think Islam needs to die. Christianity needs to die. Judaism needs to die. Hinduism needs to die. Buddhism needs to die. I don't hold back on that. They're all nonsense. They all need to end if, a thousand years ago. But here we are. But just because we're anti-Islam, we don't. that doesn't mean we support people taking, uh, violating other people's human rights. And we will defend Muslims more than Muslims themselves. I th I'll tell you, like, we at Atheist Republic, we have been more outspoken against the atheist regime of China in defense of Muslims in China than most Muslim online content creators that I've seen. I follow a lot of Muslim content creators, and they do not speak in defense of Muslims as much as we do on Atheist Republic. Anyways, you guys.
Okay, so here's another thing. Like Hindus will be saying, they will be saying like you are just reporting one side of the news because like both sides have, uh, uh, I mean, were violent and stuff. Okay, so the Muslims were attacking Hindus. Hindus were attacking Muslims. Yeah, of course. Like there were Muslims who were attacking Hindus. You can't expect people to just get attacked and do nothing. No, no, no. And I'm not going to defend. And, and, I'm no, not going to defend that's them. That's one thing. Yeah. No, no. Let me complete. That's one thing. But yeah, there were also Muslim rioters who legitimately attacked Hindus. Right. They just went and went, uh, became violent against innocent Hindus. There were people like that. But the difference between that is the police arrested the Muslims immediately, almost immediately, which they mm. should. Okay, but. The Hindus, they're almost, almost everyone's going free. Right. Very few arrests have been made. That's, and there will be people saying like, okay, there's many Hindu casualties and stuff, uh, but they cannot give any sources. Right. I, I can name, they can give only two sources, perhaps, OP India and Times Now. Okay. And there's absolutely no other source they can give. And so let, the entire, we, we the have everything to, we, we have in to, the world let me is just against say, them. Let me just be clear. Uh, the Hindus that are attacking Muslims violently, fuck you, and the Muslims that are attacking Hindus violently, fuck you as well. But we like both, like yeah, of course we we don't discriminate against the people that are you know pro violence. We hate you all equally. But what we are, what what's one sided on this is what Chopin mentioned. The government is one sided on this. The justice is not being applied equally. The Hindus are getting away with this. Rifka, you wanted to mention something because we need to go to the next news. Rivka? Uh, no, go ahead. If the, I was just gonna... No, I really don't have a whole lot to add. I mean, basically, you both covered it. Right. Boogie, Boogie Monster Mom is saying anti-religion uh, doesn't mean anti-human. That's what it boils down to. Exactly. Uh, Suraya is saying in India, Muslims and Hindus are trying to keep peace to the point like you accept my nonsense and will accept news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 